ASML makes lithography machines that are used to produce microchips. The company just reported earnings and the stock jumped 10%, giving the company a market value of $338 billion. With $8.7 billion of cash and investments and just under $4 billion of debt, the enterprise value is $333 billion. ASML's machines are highly complex and sell for hundreds of millions of dollars, but they are also an integral part of the semiconductor industry and the company has a near monopoly in the space. Revenues over the last year increased by 30% to 30 billion US dollars, with net income increasing 44% to 8.7 billion. Gross margins also moved above 51%. Despite the jump in share price, ASML's guidance for 2024 looks rather weak. The company thinks next quarter revenue could drop 20% and full year revenue is likely to be flat. A major reason is that export controls with China could affect 10-15% to of sales. So if revenue isn't going to grow this year, why is the stock so expensive at 11 times revenue or 40 times earnings? The answer is that the market is looking ahead to 2025. ASML's machines have a lead time of 18 months, so bookings made now aren't fully recognised for some time. And on the bookings front, ASML looks to be in a strong position. Orders in the fourth quarter hit a record 9.2 billion euros, and the company's backlog is now up to 39 billion. That demand is no doubt being helped by the recent boom in artificial intelligence. Very simply, management sees a strong period ahead, with many new fabs opening up, and so ASML is now investing heavily to increase its capacity. In addition, ASML is rolling out new machines that it thinks can boost its gross margins to 55% by 2025. If successful, that would represent a 10% increase in gross margins since 2015. Let's assume that ASML reports flat revenue growth in 2024 before returning to its historical growth rate of 20% per year. Assume the company improves its net income margin to 30% and the company would be making 18.7 billion of net income in five years time. A 30 times multiple then gives the company a market cap of 560 billion. Account for dividends and share buybacks and the total return looks to be about 12.5% per year. Year. So ASML isn't cheap, but it's one of those stocks that if you sell it, you might never get back in. The company's strong moat and importance to the global economy makes it a solid buy. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do own shares in ASML. For more investing videos, visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.